Hey, it's actually like sleepy time, but I'm not sleepy. So, um, it is 1:48 in the morning, and my throat hurts. I don't know why I'm doing this creepy accent. I know you guys are like, that was random. What is she squirting in her mouth? I'm um, throat spray. It makes my throat all better. Um, um, I don't know. Six Flags. I'm going. I went. My first time to go to Six Flags was this summer with my church. And now I get to go a second time with my band. And I can't wait. Because my boyfriend went on my church trip. And now he's going to go with the band trip. But with the band trip, I have like a thousand other of my friends going. I want to see them vomit. Like, I really do. I want to take them on the Texas Giant, which is like the lar largest roller coaster in Six Legs. And see, I almost fell out of the seat because it doesn't stay locked well. I'm not a small person. But when the seat doesn't freaking lock, and you're going like this, I'm not joking, it's like a 90 degree angle. No, it's more than that. It's like 180. It's like straight. It's all, It's like 7 degrees off of being straight. That's what they told us. And I was like, <sighs> hanging on to the freaking bar because I was about to fall out. <sighs> I was terrified. I didn't puke. I was just terrified. Thanks, Six Flags. But I still love you. Yeah, I have my shirt tucked in a little. Like, it's like half tucked in. Look at these sexy pumps. Okay, when you go and you wear an adult medium, or like a medium or a small, and you go to Six Flags, you're like, okay, these are adult sizes. I'm going to get a medium. I mean, you know it's going to be a little big, but when it's freaking falling off of you, this is not a medium. It says medium. It's more like an extra freaking large. This is not... This doesn't fit. I thought it would actually fit. But now I can't wear it anywhere. It's just a pajama shirt because it doesn't fit. Sad. Goes good for my shorts, then. It's a hunk of hunk of burning love. I don't know. Um, okay. Since it's like two something, isn't it? Didn't I say that? It's almost two. Okay, I normally stay up. But I'm going to show you. My grandma, who's like never awake, and she does not stay up late, she's up. I will show you. She's on like Farmville or some crap. Watch, I'll show you. Okay, I think she noticed me because she looked at the TV and I think she saw me a little in her glasses. <coughs> but yeah, she saw me a little, I think. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, I need to tell you guys something. I've been missing my remote for months. Like, since summer started, I've been missing my remote. Like, second day of summer. Guys, where'd my remote go? Oh, but I had my friend over here. I was like... Um, where'd you put my remote? Oh, I don't know. Because, like, we just got out of the swimming pool. I was exhausted. I was out. She was messing around with her phone or something. I don't know. And she said it changed it. And I was like, oh, where's the remote? She was like, I don't know. I handed it back to you. I have a reputation of sleepwalking. I will sit up and open my eyes and have a whole conversation with you. And I'm asleep. I have a horrible reputation of that. Like... Most of my friends will tell you that I have done it. I think I sleepwalk at one of my friends' house, I think. And I woke up because I ran into a table thing. It hurt. Okay, but, um, yeah, like, we couldn't find my remote. I was flipping out. I was like, what did you do? You don't hand it to me when I'm asleep? She was like, you weren't asleep. You looked at me and said, oh, okay. I was like, oh. 
And today, my mom was like, you still don't have your remote? You're sick. You're laying in bed. And you don't have your TV on or anything. You're bored to death. And you don't have your remote. I was like, no, I haven't been able to find it for months now. She was like, well, look under the dog's playpen thing. I was like, oh, no, I said it's probably under my bed. Or, you know, this thing. And I was pointing to my dog's playpen because she pretty much lives in there. Except for when we, like, take her out and play with her and stuff. Well, like, that's where she sleeps and eats and uses the bathroom unless we put her outside, which is too cold to put her outside. But okay. And, like, my mom was like, get your lazy butt up and actually look under there. You should be able to see under there. I was like, ah, oh, okay. So I picked it up and I moved it, and there it was. Months worth of searching, and it was there. <sighs> but it was hurt. But I can't stop rubbing it. Okay, but you saw my grandma, you heard about my remote, my PJs and my pants, or my, yeah, my PJs and my pants, my shirt's tucked in on my pants, okay, I love the paint splattered pants, look, don't look at the room, my space, Facebook, let's not do the Twitter, find them here. Twitter. I don't know. My youth pastor has been watching all my videos. I was a little scared. Because, you know, he can get on to you for anything. He's my youth pastor. I love him, though. He's like a dad. And his wife, Melanie, is amazing. She's awesome. She's like one of my best friends. I, I know it's kind of weird because she's 22, I think. I think. I know Kevin's 25. I think she's 22. I need to figure that out. That might not end up well. But, um, like, they were watching my videos and stuff, and, like, I got really good responses from them. I was like, um, are you stalking me on YouTube? I was freaking out. I was like, this might not get, be a good thing. They might, like, yell at me or something. Because I haven't been the best, I don't think. I don't know. I don't think it happened. I think I need to clean it up a little. <coughs> but, yeah, um... I don't know. But they loved it, apparently. They were like, yeah, can't we watch? We love some awesome randomness. I was like, day in the life of Laurel. Okay, have you, do you guys have boobies bracelets? Some people think they're bad. I don't think they're bad. Because it's just breast cancer supporting. Well, not, not supporting the breast cancer itself. Like, supporting the fight against, against breast cancer. See, look, it says... I heart boobies and it says keep a breast I'll keep a booby I don't know uh, like I have I, don't, I think it's a great cousin and she has a brain tumor and she has a tumor on her lungs um the tumors are shrinking but right now that's not what's killing her What's killing her is the chemo. Um, she said she doesn't know if she can handle it anymore because she's definitely really weak. But the tumor was like this big, now it's like this big. So it's getting better, but she said she doesn't think she can handle it. Like, I don't talk to her, but my grandma does. Um, if you know somebody with cancer and you want to, like, tell me their story. Who, how are they related to you, or if they're your friend, um, just, like, tell me what's going on with them. I'll keep them in my prayers and my thoughts. Um, yeah, I think that might be just about it. Now, <coughs> now, <coughs> now I made my nighttime, like, rant into something personal, and I don't know. Well, I gotta go before, like, I have to trim this video. Okay, so, bye!